Something that we prioritize here at Rabble is sharing a variety of opinions and perspectives on issues affecting Canada's political left. Media and communications is at a reckoning right now. Many people are realizing that the news is often written by, for, and about a privileged few. And I feel like the role Rabble plays is giving a voice and coverage to the media deserts of the people. When I think about what excites me most about Rabble, it's how it brings together grassroots activists with trained journalists, with academics, with emerging writers, and with well-known authors, all on a national platform. We're at a time when we need to hear from as many progressive voices as possible to work towards solutions to the critical problems that are facing us. When I go out on the ground as a federal politics reporter for rabble.ca, I'm always keeping two things in mind. One is to have the highest quality of work possible, and number two is to make sure that our donors get their money's worth. The unique role that Rabble plays in the Canadian media landscape is our dedication to the coverage of the labor movement. So many important social programs that we hold dear as Canadians stem from fights that started in the labor movement, whether that be the fight for universal health care, the fight for paid sick leave, the fight for protections against discrimination and other forms of harassment in the workplace, all started in the labor movement, and Rabble has been closely following those stories throughout our history, and we're going to continue to do so.